Okay, hi people. This is a follow-up to my earlier video on replacing the uh, tailgate panel on uh, my Ford F-150 pickup. Because there were a few comments, maybe more than a few, um, asking why I didn't show the complete process on how to take it off and put it back on. So, uh, this one is going to be an attempt to go through the whole thing. All right then, so the first step is if you have a bed liner in your truck, um, take off the panel that's on the tailgate, which I've already done, and that's laying in the bed of the truck. Um, so taking the old panel off is pretty simple. There's just uh, some screws on the inside of the tailgate that hold the, the panel on. Um, there's uh, six of them, so you just gotta take those off. For some reason, the two middle ones are uh, um, straight, or they actually have a, a hex head on. Remainder are all uh, Phillips heads, so hopefully those will come out pretty easy. As you're doing this, as you get the screws out, you're going to want to support the uh, panel from the other side because it's going to come loose. Actually, it's resting on the bumper, so it can't be that big of a deal until you tilt it up. Just pull away. Oh, I think there's a couple on the end. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see on the, the end, each end of the tailgate, there's two uh, uh, nuts there. Um, and on mine, anyway, it's a 3 8 inch nut that you got to take off on both sides. panel off, putting it on is just in the reverse. Oh, but we have a problem, Houston. One of my, uh, one of these plastic things came undone, broke off from here. Um, so I think I'm going to epoxy that back on just because it's the right thing to do. Like I said, putting it on is just the, um, the reverse process of taking it off. You slide uh, each of these little legs through the uh, six holes in the tailgate 
and you also need to line up these screws down the end. And then everything just goes back the way it was in reverse. Let's start with these little nuts on the ends. Again, this was a 1987 F-Series F-150. Your tailgate may not be the exact same configuration as this one, but hopefully it gives you a general idea of what to do. Like I said before in the last video, uh, when I was looking for this uh, tailgate panel, um, I checked with LMC Truck because I've gotten a lot of things from them to redo this truck and theirs was out of stock, the new version, and it was around $500. So I found this one that's pretty close to good on eBay for way cheaper. I forget what I paid, it might have been $100 or even less. Um, but LMC might have new ones in stock now if you're interested, so you can check that. Just tighten these up. I don't think there's any torques back on these things. Maybe there is, but don't over tighten them. They're not that hefty. And then these two down here. I got this little Craftsman socket wrench set at Sears years and years ago. It was just sitting on a little uh, display table by the front of the store by the entrance to the mall and I don't know what I paid for it but I have used this thing so many times okay so we got those on and then the next thing is just to uh, put all these screws back battery. Be right back. And yeah, with a good battery it makes it a lot easier. So then, yep, last thing is just to tighten all these uh, screws back up. Good as new. That's how you take it off, and that's how you put it back on. Hope that helps. By the way, since my last video, I did get the truck repainted, and uh, looks really good now.
Also got a new bumper. Thank you, OMC.